Paul, well done. 2 0 win away from home. What are you feeling after that one? Uh, relieved, I think. Um, uh, I'd like us to obviously play better. We had moments in the game, um, defended reasonably well. Uh, there were some good performances, but you know, I'd obviously like some uh, some better performances. But uh, yeah, we've done enough to win, and away from home in League One, well, in any league, it's just about winning. So I will put, I've said this loads of times, I know, but we'll play significantly better and lose and we'll play a lot worse and win I suppose but um, yeah overall okay uh, and pleased to win What did you like about the performance then? Um, I think we uh, I thought we saw the game out quite well I thought the last 20 minutes we were pretty resolute I thought uh, the back line were good like Cash and Nels defended the crosses Nels done a lot of tidying up Joe looked really mature in goal and the two fullbacks defended well and we looked dangerous on the counter so I enjoyed that part of the game although we should have made more of our counters I think I enjoyed that part of our game I enjoyed the first 15-20 minutes when we had a bit of control but we've done a lot of a lot of unforced errors today which isn't really like us so we need to get better on the ball I think um, yeah and they're, they're, they're highlights I think Clearly, there are areas that you want to improve, but do you feel that sort of that will come with maybe sort of winning some games and getting some momentum going? Because you mentioned, I think, last week, there's been a bit of stop start so far this season. Yeah, well, we have a good week with the lads this week, which is good. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and you know, you can build off wins. I mean, I don't, hand on heart, it doesn't bother me how we play if we win. <laughs> it's an easier interview to, uh, to say that we could be better, but we've won 2 0. So not being disrespectful to Carlisle they're three points behind us before today's game so we can't oh, we can't turn up and think we have a desired right to, to win football games but I do think I do think we'll play better but uh, I thought we defended well I just disappointed a few times we give the ball away uh, needlessly so uh, and obviously we'll watch the game back uh, it might look better than I uh, feel at this moment um, but I'm pleased with the win and the dressing room are pleased we've been a bit down uh, it's been a tough week for us, uh, so we're really pleased that we can finish it with a win. Two goals for James Collins. He's now on 200 in club football, which is some achievement. Wow, he's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, yeah, really pleased for him. Like he lives, he dedicates his life to football, um, wants to play every minute of every game. But in fairness, he took his goal well. He probably could have had another one first half that I need to speak to him about. But and he won the penalty, he took the penalty, so it doesn't get much better than that for a strike. And I thought he was our physical presence up top today, um, and we needed it. And in places like this, um, you, you need a physical presence because you're under the cosh. And like, you can be wax lyrical about um, any of the players when you win, uh, but I think the thing with Colo that uh, I don't know if people notice, but his actual um, out of possession stuff is really good. But what he's very good at is helping us defend set pieces. Um, He's really good at that, and he, he brings a massive part to our game as well. And like I said, away from home, they score a corner from a corner or a free kick, and they had a lot. Uh, all of a sudden, it's one all, and you're against it. So he plays a massive part in that as well. So yeah, really pleased for Colo, um, and it's something he'll look back. I mean, he looks back at it probably this minute yeah. with pride. But I know his son will be buzzing. So uh, the fact he's got another two and got 200 goals, 200 goals at any level is impressive. So. Um, in later life um, he'll be even prouder You brought no, Ryan Niambi in this week came straight into the side were you pleased with his performance? Yeah excellent he gets close to people defends well um, look Kane was excellent midweek but that's Kane's first game and uh, you know we've got to try and manage the players um, and keep them fit and healthy so and I thought when Kane came on he was a handful um, he plays like he's uh, 15 at school I buzz off people like that although running to get the ball in the last minute integrate but uh, yeah but I thought Ryan done really well I've congratulated him in there for you know his professional debut so that is obviously a joke before someone writes in uh, played loads of games he just looked a bit assured and that's sort of what we needed and then times of the game today a bit of calm uh, helped so yeah really pleased and it's nice for him to start with a clean sheet and a win and hopefully there's many more to come we had a tremendous away back in again today, which I know is always the case, but it's a hell of a long trip up here and they made their voices heard. You must be pleased for them to go home with a win. Yeah, really pleased. And it's nice. Obviously, there's not many um, uh, in football. You've got to enjoy the nice times, even if it's only for 60 seconds, that you can go over and enjoy it with the team and uh, your staff and, and the fans. So, yeah, really appreciate people coming. I've got a funny feeling. A lot of people are thinking, ah, there's one less that... Uh, 
stadium to come to so hopefully we don't have to no offence we don't have to come here next year because the probably be half because everyone's gone well I've been there I don't need to go there again but I appreciate how far it is and obviously the lads enjoy winning in front of the fans and you know two wins in a week however they come uh, whoever they're against uh, uh, are welcome so uh, we can finish the week really proud of our efforts and just lastly a full week on the training ground before another three game week next week looking forward to getting down to some work again on the training ground yeah we are and I can, you know, we'll do some on the training ground and we'll obviously do some in the classroom as well because that's essential that we, we you know, try and eradicate some of our poor play and, and also trying to give the lads the confidence in their really good play and there were some really good parts today um, but uh, we just need more of it and we're always trying to push performances and push standards and make the lads better individually and collectively and that's what a week gives you it gives you an opportunity to go back to the training ground you know reinforce messaging we can see there's a couple of things that um, weren't amazing today that we we work with the lads and hopefully come next week we'll be amazing at that and amazing at that and we win 3-0 at home and everyone's happy so that's what we'll work towards and uh, it's always nice to have that week after a win